Good night, my beautiful TikTok family. Good night, good night, good night. So, I just want to touch on a short little Bible topic, right? I would have come across one of the pastors um, live, and this isn't a bash nobody, but just for a clear illustration and understanding. Now, we're going to talk about Judas. The thing about it is, when I was listening to it, and they were like, if Judas was to church on time, if Judas was to Bible study on time, if Judas was doing everything that he was supposed to do on time, then he would have never betrayed Jesus. We cannot switch the scriptures around as to what we want it to be or what we um think it should have been. God said in his word that he knew us before he even formed us in our mother's womb. So before Judas was formed in his mother's womb, God already ordained him to be the one who would betray Jesus so that the scripture could be fulfilled. So instead of trying to pretty it up, saying if Judas was to Sunday school on time, if he was to Bible school on time, or however you said it in worship, Judas' role was to never, never be a saint. He was chosen, mind you. In order for some things to take place and in order for some greatness to happen too, we have stumbling blocks and some road that we have to go through that are not always going to be aligned with us. It's going to be a little shortfall. It's going to be a little hurt. And Judas was that little shortfall and that little hurt. The destiny of his life was never to become a full believer. His destiny, his destiny was always to become the one who would betray Jesus. So sometimes when we're using the word to um, bring clarity about certain things, we got to make sure how we're using it. And like I said, it's in the bash nobody, but we got to understand and uh, we know what the scripture said. Before he formed us, he knew us. He already knew us. So Judas' outcome for life was always to be the one to betray Jesus. His assignment was to never be an upright, wholesome person. You, even Jesus said, I've chosen you, but one of you are a devil. You understand? So he already knew that. So it was not for Judas to become no um saint. His role was never that. And just like out with society now, you have some persons that they were ordained, ordained to be Satan worshippers. They just was ordained to be it. And as Judas, his role was always to be the one to betray Jesus in order for the scriptures to be fulfilled. Sometimes when we're using the scriptures, we got to make sure you use it in the correct content. That's all.